So today at my house we were emptying the pool. We've had a big algae problem in our pool hot tub combo thing. I suppose I should not be complaining because we are lucky enough to have a pool slash hot tub combo thing. So today we were emptying it and it's like caked on. Apparently there's like different types of algae. There's like mustard algae and there's like green algae. And green algae will respond to chemicals like chlorine and stuff, but um, mustard algae just chills. Anyway, it's pretty noxious and you have to use some really icky chemicals like chlorine. So we emptied the hot tub because it was <laughs> it was starting to look a little bit like a septic tank because that's attractive. As I do that, I had this idea to design a character sort of that was like algae. Something that looked a bit like an oil slick that was like polluting the water. I think this character would like... <laughs> I, quite, I quite like her design. Um, I think she would probably live in a place near like a hot spring or something and she'd be like a hot spring monster. I don't know if hot springs actually have issues with algae because they've got... I imagine they don't because they don't put chlorine in the water there so they wouldn't Plus, the water's already got a bunch of sulfur and stuff in it. But, um, I imagine she'd want to invade, but maybe the water would be too hot and she wouldn't be able to. So she would try and lure travelers who were in the hot tub, or in the hot spring, to join her in her toxic sludge mess. I had issues with this sketch because I wanted, I wanted the hand coming out, but I was having issues with where, like, where it would come out of the water. It's supposed to be a bit more rounded. I'm using a Micron Point 8 as a holdover from when I used to do a lot of... That's a good line. Good line. Confident with the lines. Confident. Confident. Oh, that's cool looking. Something else that Casey does is that she doesn't draw, like, some of her lines won't be complete. They'll have dots in them to add, like, texture, and she'll do a lot of texture lines, which I think is really cool. It's not something I've ever really done in my line work. And like I said, so my lines are, are pretty big comparatively, because I like none of what I'm saying is coming out well. When I used to do a lot of Illustrator, I would draw really thick lines because those would translate well into Illustrator. Oh, I don't like that one. This character could could be a boy or a girl or non-binary or whatever. One thing I had fun with when I was designing her was the angularness of her features as um, in contrast to the sort of I'm not used to doing this dot thing but I'm finding that I really like the way it adds something to it. Thanks, Casey, for turning me on to that. I think I'm going to move to a smaller pen. Hopefully my smaller pen will work with this. Where are my smaller microns? Yes, this one's point three. Woo! Although my point threes are usually pretty, uh, pretty ganked. Because I used to use them for everything, so usually they're a bit... A bit much. Come on. I'm not sure whether to just give her under eye bags or to like make it look like she's got like eyeliner that's falling down her face. One thing I see a lot of beginning artists do, especially when I worked as an art tutor, is that they, they think that they can't move the page when they're drawing which is ridiculous because you should move your paper to best suit your strongest whatever direction you can make your strongest best lines in. There's some, like for me coming up like this, it's moving against where my hand is and it's awkward so rotating allows me to go with the natural motion of it. I think I want to make her eyeliner a little bit thicker. Get that old lady girl. That's looking good. Do I want to add the teeth in? I was going to give her... 
fangy teeth things, and I think I will. I think I like how that looks. I love characters with shark teeth, despite how impractical it is. Okay, I want to add a little bit of depth to the line work. This may not work, but I hope it does, so that it doesn't look shit, and it can look real pretty, and if it works, I will be really pleased. I really like this character design. Thinking more about the character design, I think, um, I said earlier, this character could be male or female or non-binary. I feel like it might have... Alright, I think I've added enough depth to it for now. Let's give her figures a little bit. I was never really someone who cared too much about line width, and then I watched all of the background extra features for the Aladdin movie. And Aladdin's a really interesting movie, just for the art style especially, because they really tried to work the sort of S-curve into a lot of the work. There we go. Okay. I'll probably want to add more later. As in right now. Because I should add a little bit to the chin. There we go. Needed a razor. Whee! Right before I began filming, uh, my water spilled all over my desk and got this all wet and I was really worried and then I was like, wait, it's watercolor paper. And I was like, shit, is this gonna make the consistency different? As you can see, it's already buckling. I'm not good at this. Should I tape it down? I just don't know. I mean, it's kind of what we used to do. So that when it dried, it would hold the shape it originally had. Maybe I should wait for it to dry somewhat and then put it under like a pile of books. I just don't want to get paint on a pile of books. I could put it under my Masterpieces of Western Art, his art History book. That is something I regret from college. My art history teacher was really, really, really boring. Kind of turned me off the topic until my senior year when I did 20th century. Which was cool because we did Dolly and shit. And I had a lot of fun with that. The pencil I've been using to sketch with is a 2H. And the reason I like 2H is because it's a very light pencil. When I'm doing pencil sketches, I don't tend to use it as much. But if I'm doing something where I plan to erase the lines later, the issue you'll get into with it is, um, as you can see, it's very light. So if you really dig in to try and make it dark, it won't erase later. You need to embrace the really light stroke. If you want something that is just dark from the beginning, 6B. I don't know what B stands for, to be honest. I always assumed H stood for hard, which may or may not be true. So color-wise, I'm gonna set down some kind of algae green, because that was my inspiration. It's like an algae monster. It's kind of polluted the water. Is algae polluting the water? It's making it so that we can't go in, but the algae can go in and it feeds things, so maybe we're... We were the monster the whole time. We were the monster the whole time. <sighs> Come on, let there be enough to cover everything I want to cover. I can mix another color later, but right now I want this sort of algae sap green to come along with me. I should try and be more careful with where I put pigment. As you can see, I'm getting all over the place because I'm really good at staying in the lines. Super good. I'm like super good. Put a little brown in. That's, that's a good undercolor for darker areas. Yeah, it's looking nice. Good job. You're doing great. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. You put down that color. You do. Good job, brush. Good job. Oh yeah, you lay that color down. Give it a bit of texture. Part of me thinks I should like. I should. Hey, I should do this, so people can see what's happening. But part of me thinks I should wash this 
and just start new with all my colors, and the other part of me is like, that's wasteful. Why would you do that when you can just paint forever? Using the same bits of color that you laid down in college. Hmm? You wouldn't want to be wasteful, would ya? That would just be the worst. The worst thing ever. Oh shit. Another part of me is like, you didn't know there was orange in there, and now it's part of your color. Maybe you should consider changing it so that it's a little less paint by random ass shit. Which is kind of what it is right now. Paint by random ass shit. It's like paint by numbers, only there are no numbers, and the color kind of looks like shit. I mean, she's supposed to be like an algae swamp monster, so she's not really supposed to be a good color. She, they... I like the idea, idea of them being really androgynous. I mean, they're a swamp monster. Why would they have gender? In fact, does algae... I don't think algae even has gender. I would look that up. That will be a thing I look up. Does algae have gender? Actually, well, I mean, the con they don't have the concept of gender. I have ideas of how to highlight, and then I just forget them, and I'm like, I will color the whole thing. What is shadow? Paint the whole thing. Paint everything. Why? Why would you not? Why would you not paint the whole thing? Don't put your hand on the picture where it's wet. You know better than that. You do. But still you do it. You also don't know anything about highlighting bubbles, so let's pretend you do. I can't decide if this is a hot mess or if it looks great. Maybe if I used, like, a real color, and not just lifted color from centuries ago, I would actually have, like, more shades or something. Nope, oh, that's orange. Actually liking how this is coming along. I wasn't sure about the skin tone. I wanted it to still be kind of a murky green but maybe not as pigmented. I should go in with more pigment in the hair. So that like, the color of the hair versus the color of the water, there's like a bit of a difference. Lay down that deep green. I think I need to wait for this to dry before I start laying more color on it. Because I feel like that is one of my issues. I have a bit of a too much gene. Too much, too fast, too soon. Hey, I just met you, and this is crazy, but let's go to the Bahamas. I don't have that kind of too much dream. But I do have a... Why can't I do everything now? It's why I'm not really good at crafts where you... Like, you have to wait for steps. I can do crafts where, you, like, there's a lot of steps, but, like, ones where you have to, like, wait for shit, you know, for, like, 24 hours. I am so shit at... Don't have the patience. Let's dry that shit. One boop this time. Two boops this time. Slide to the left. Oh, you know it would be really cute if I gave her little freckles. 